Hey everyone, Bon here again, and uh, just another quick video on the Retro Tink C as in Charlie. As you can see, it's right here. And I've been using it for about a week and component out adapter for the Raspberry Pi. And I must say, uh, after tweaking some settings and getting some updated uh, images from Mike Chi, we have found out a way to get 1920p by 240. Uh, in this instance, we're using 224 because, as you'll see, I'm running uh, Street Fighter 3 in the background, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I think it's the best-looking game I have, and it makes my 36-inch CRT run like an arcade monitor. Um, you can see the resolution here is 1863 by 224, and that'll change depending on how your d TV displays the pixels. Mine has a little bit of tilt. As you can see, it's not exactly square. But it's it's good enough. I mean, I got the overscan, so it's, it looks good. Um, as you can see, the custom aspect ratio of the X and the Y position. That's going to that's gonna be different on every TV. I mean, it's an analog TV. All of them have their different convergences. And um, they're all tuned to a different geometry setting. But this JVC uh, iArt television still going on strong i've been using it the input delay is really good i have friends coming over and they've been judging the games and um they're pretty much saying hey man this thing is really really close to like like my buddy uh joseph who comes around with his analog nt he said it's really close it's almost indiscernible so um emulation has come a long way i mean obviously it's not going to be as good as authentic hardware but I always, always tell people, these arcade games, we got to find a way to preserve them because not everyone's going to have the room to uh, put a whole bunch of cabinets in the garage. I wish I had the room. I'd buy a whole bunch of cabinets, but uh, sadly, that's not the case. But this product by Mike Chi is a great product. It gives you that component out, which looks great on these old televisions and basically turning my uh, my CRT here into an arcade monitor. So... I got these settings locked in. Let's take a look. Let's see how it looks in attract mode. I mean, I know it looks gorgeous, but people always want the photo evidence, and that's what my channel's all about, giving you guys the uh, what you guys want to see. It's like, hey, is this worth buying? Is this not worth buying? So I'm going to head on back to the settings and go up to where it says quick menu. I'm doing this one-handed, of course. And let's go to that. Let's go to restart, and I'll show you the attract mode. Let's take a resume. I'll zoom in even for Scan lines look great. And like I said, I've been messing with this for a week. And what's nice about Laka is that not only does it save settings per core, but it saves settings per game. So I found a few games like Neo Geo games that don't have, they don't take the same settings as a CPS3. So even though they're running off that Final Burn Alpha core, um, I can set it per game. And wow, this looks... This looks amazing. I mean, this looks really, really good. Scan lines are apparent. There's no motion blur. I mean, it's a CRT, and that's what you get. I mean, the CRTs were... This is the king of the hill for back then, and this looks awesome. I mean, look at that. That intro looks jaw-dropping even now. Uh, 1999, yeah, this was a uh, pretty good game, big game for its time. Big game in New York, I'll tell you that. A lot of, a lot of good players came out of New York City, Chinatown Fair, and... Uh, those guys aren't forgotten. But yeah, it looks great. I mean, let me zoom in a little bit on the scan lines. I mean, those are authentic as you can get. That's not a shader. That's not a an overlay. That's the TV running in 224p, and that's what you get. Now, as you can see, I've evened it up as best as I could. I think it looks good. At 1863, there's no, there's really no horizontal artifacts. I mean, it looks, it looks great. I mean, at 1600, there was a little bit... But at 1920, it looks even better. Uh, Mike Chi said he was trying to get 2560 or even 3840 to go, but uh, we don't think the Pi can handle it. It must be limited on the frame buffer. But look at that. That looks great. Look at Remy. He's, he's looking great animation. And I tell you, there's no motion blur at all. We've tried playing the Mega Mans on here. We've tried playing uh, Gimmick. Uh, and the input delay is really, really low. CRT, I mean, I've been reading a lot of stuff to try to get the input delay on the Raspberry Pi. It always have one more frame than an actual PC. And even the PC, as uh, fast as it is, it always gives you one frame more of like authentic hardware. So you're looking at, with the Raspberry Pi 3, maybe two frames off authentic hardware. Uh, base case scenario. That's with everything, you know, being great. But... Uh, 
Yeah, for all those guys out there that don't want to spend that much money, the Raspberry Pi is only $35. The Retro Trink C is $65. I know people saying, I was like, wow, it's more money than a Raspberry Pi. That's because these boards, they're not being done in high volume. Um, Mike Chi is just doing them. He's really not, uh, really not making much cash on it. So anyway, this is just a show of how great this is. So you guys have a good one and take care. And hopefully you guys... You know, if you're interested in this product, I'd go pick one up right now. You can get them from RetroTink.com, and I highly recommend it. I think it's great. Anyway, guys, have a good one.